I've had a lot of businesses over the last 15 years and a lot of business bank accounts. These are the top five business bank accounts for any size business. Before we get into this list, let's go over a few good tips that you need to understand before you even think about applying for a business bank account, because you need to make sure that your business is in order. Rule number one, you want to go to Dunn and Bradstreet and create your free Dunn's number and make sure that your registered business with Dunn and Bradstreet is 100% accurate and complete, meaning that the address is accurate, the name, the business type, everything with Dunn and Bradstreet must be correct. I want you to understand it does not matter if you have an in-home business. In the past it mattered, but now it doesn't matter because honestly COVID changed everything. It's very imperative that your business address match up with your business articles of organization per your state. Because when you set up your business bank account, that bank is going to verify your business address matches at Dun & Bradstreet with your state and then the address that you're giving them. If it doesn't match up, that could be the number one reason why you get declined. And you must also make sure that your NAX code is not a high risk industry. Now, right now, currently trucking is being deemed as a high risk industry. So you want to make sure that it doesn't say trucking. And also credit repair is a number one reason why you can get declined because a lot of banks want nothing to do with credit repair organizations. Also real estate and day trading. So make sure that you choose the proper NAX code. So whenever you go to a bank, it's not going to put your business in question. Do something more general. So you can say business business consulting. Because if you just pick one specific industry, it's going to pigeonhole you and limit your lending with any types of different banks that may have restrictions per those NAX code or per those business types. Now, before I jump into this list, make sure that you smash that like and subscribe button so this video gets out to more people so everyone can stay informed. Now, these banks are not in any specific order, but let's go ahead and get started with the first one, which is American Express. Now, American Express does offer a business checking account, but you must be in the American Express family to qualify for the business checking account. Now, if you do qualify and you open up your business checking with American Express, you're going to earn 30,000 membership reward points after you deposit a total of 5,000 or more in eligible deposits within 30 days of your account opening. And here's the end. You must maintain an average account balance of 5,000 for the next 60 days. And you must make five or more qualifying transactions within 60 days of the account of the account opening. Now, the reason why I'm a huge fan of this because traditional business bank accounts don't really give you much. They don't have any reward systems. Well, with American Express, it's one of the best ones and I actually have it. I'm a big fan of it. Now, I've been using this business checking account with American Express for over two years now and I'm a big fan of it because every dollar that I spend with American Express with the debit card, the business debit card, every time I swipe this card, I'm going to earn one membership reward point for every $2 I spend on any eligible business business debit card purchase. And there are a couple of ways that you can redeem those membership reward points from your business checking. You can turn your membership reward points into deposits directly into your American Express business checking account, which I do not suggest that you do because there's not enough value there. The other way is to transfer your points to a select participating travel partner program, which basically means like an airline or a hotel service. You can transfer those points over and use those for free travel, basically. Another great part about this business checking is there is no monthly maintenance fees and you're going to get 24-7 support and you're going to earn 1.30% APY on balances up to 500k. So all the balances that you keep in this business checking will earn you something, which is better than nothing, honestly. But I will warn you, do not, and, I'm, and I really mean do not make this your main business bank account. This should be another account that you just use because you're actually stacking up those points, but you don't want this to be your only business checking account because if that balance dips low and you have other credit cards tied to that, American Express will see that and they will deem you a high risk and they will lower your limits because you become a high risk as a business owner. They're like, oh, you don't have any cash flow. Let's go and slash those limits. Now, moving on to the next one. I don't believe anybody ever talks about this. Capital One has a business checking account. Now, unlike the American Express checking account, the Capital One does not come with any bonuses where you get points or anything like that for using your debit card for your business transactions. With Capital One, you're going to get a monthly service fee of $15 a 
month that is going to be waived if you can maintain a $2,000 minimum balance. Now there are wire transfer fees. So you're gonna get for domestic wires, you're gonna get $15 per incoming wire and $25 per outgoing wire, which is a huge deal. A lot of business owners that are out there moving money, they understand what I'm talking about, but for some, it really doesn't matter. Now, as far as your digital transactions, you're gonna get no fee and that includes mobile deposits and ACH payments and online bill pay. So you can set up your online bill pay inside of Capital One and it's not gonna cost you anything extra to run those business payments through your business checking account. And if you are a business owner that uses your ATM card to pull out cash for whatever reason, you're gonna get ATM access at over 70,000 plus ATMs and there are no fees on withdrawals whatsoever. Now there are different tiers of checking accounts that you can get. You have the en enhanced checking, which is not what we just talked about, we just covered the basic checking. So enhanced checking is for businesses that have more income and more revenue. So you're looking at a $25,000 minimum. And then they have the custom checking with treasury management. That's for the baller business owners out there. I wanna give a special shout out to all my beasters out there that are working hard to fix their credit using Dispute Beast, the most advanced AI credit repair software ever created. And specifically to Wesley, whose Wesley's credit score went up over 226 points after just two rounds with Dispute Dispute Beast and also Marcus. Marcus's credit score went up 337 points after just two rounds with Dispute Beast. And let's not forget Richard. Richard's credit score went up 446 points after just one round with Dispute Beast. Dispute Beast is going to be pinned at the very top of the comments and in the video description for anybody that needs to fix their credit. Last part's the most important. The reason why I like these is because if you are a responsible business owner and you have cash flow, that is going to show Capital One, it's going to show American Express that you have the flexibility for them to give you more money. Remember, anytime you're building a relationship, whether it be for your personal side or your business side, the bank is going to love it if you are putting money into their bank as deposits, whether it be personal or business. Now, next up on the list is Chase Bank. They do offer a business checking account, and if you are somebody that is into business credit cards, this is a great way to establish a good relationship with them before you apply for any business credit cards with Chase Bank because Chase Bank does have some of the best business credit cards. Now you're gonna earn $300 when you open a business complete checking account for a new business checking customer with qualified activities. The monthly service fee can be reduced from $15 to $0. In order to get that $300, all you have to do is deposit a minimum of $2,000 in new money within 30 days of offer and enrollment and maintain that balance for 60 days from the offer enrollment. Now I hear a lot of a lot of people do this where they'll go open this account, leave the money in there for 60 days and then take their $300 and then close the account. I don't suggest you do that because it's actually good to have multiple business bank accounts so you don't put all your eggs in one basket. So always remember that. But in order to get this 300, you also must complete five qualifying transactions within 90 days of offer enrollment. Your bonus will be deposited within 15 days. Now those qualifying transactions include debit card purchases, accepting credit and debit card payments with Chase Ex Quick Accept, Chase Quick Deposit, and ACH credits, wires, credits, and debits, and Chase Online Bill Pay. You're gonna notice something that all of these business bank accounts will offer that online bill pay. Now our next bank up on the list is going to be Truist Bank. Now understand this is a regional thing, so just be aware of that. I want you to come to the comments saying, I can't qualify, Mike. Again, it's a regional thing, most, mostly on the East Coast. Now all of these banks that I'm talking about today, I have an account with every single one of them, except for Capital One is the only one I do not have a business bank account with, but I plan on doing that after the holidays because I like to have different accounts because it's good to build and establish those relationships with those banks. So when I do go after a credit card, I have those data points behind me also. I am a huge fan of Truist business banking accounts because if you open up a business checking account with them, you can earn up to $400 with qualifying activities, kind of similar to the other ones that we talked about. So all you have to do is open a simple business checking or dynamic business checking account and make qualifying deposits of $2,000 or more and it's just that simple just complete this step within 30 days of your account opening now unlike the other banks that we just talked about you don't have to make any transactions in order to qualify for this bonus all you have to do is open up your simple business checking account there's no monthly maintenance fee $2,000 cash processing per month at no extra charge and that includes 50 included transactions per month this is the thing that I'm not a huge fan about as you heard me 
just say $2,000 cash processing per month at no charge. So if you're someone that has like automatic recurring payments coming into your account that are over 2,000, they're gonna charge you extra for this. Now, if you're someone that has a lot of recurring income coming in, they do offer the truest dynamic business checking and that one goes all the way up to $25,000 of cash processing per month at no charge. And with the dynamic business checking, you're going to earn perks based on your deposit balances. I did do something really crazy. I took $10,000 and I opened up a business checking account with Truist Bank. And in return, they gave me a $10,000 credit card. Now they did do a hard check on my TransUnion, was it TransUnion or Equifax? I think it was Equifax. They pulled my Equifax, but let's just go ahead and say Equifax and TransUnion, because it's been a while, I'm not gonna lie, okay? But they gave me a $10,000 credit card and then within a year, they bumped it up to $20,000. So I am a huge fan of them because of that, because they will give you that flexibility to get those business lines of credit and those credit cards because, but understand the credit cards are no doc required. So you don't require any documents to apply for it. You're gonna be the personal guarantor for that credit card. But the business line of checking, they will ask for documents. In the past they didn't, but now they do. Now all of these banks are great for you establishing a good relationship with them. But the problem with any of these is none of them build business credit. There's only one business checking account out there that will build business credit and that is NAV Prime. Now be aware, with the NAV Prime, there is no credit check and no monthly maintenance fees and no minimum balance requirement, unlike all of the other business checking accounts that we talked about. Now, if you do the NAV Prime, the entire package, you're looking at $49.99 a month. Yes, it does come with a fee, but here's the thing. You're gonna get the NAV Prime membership trade line. So it's going to report that NAV Prime trade line. Then you're gonna get the NAV Prime card. That's gonna report as a second trade line. And then you're gonna get the NAV business checking account. So you're gonna get all of these things for one price under the same roof. Now, here's the reason why NAV is a huge deal. NAV helped me acquire close to a half a million dollars in funding between 2022 and 2023. Now we haven't needed any funding as of this year, so we've been fine, but those two years, we literally were able to acquire that business funding through NAV because all of our money's there. They can see all of our transactions. They can see our business growth. They see all of it and they can actually require, I'm sorry, they can recommend you to any business lenders out there that may be fit for your business because every single business is gonna be different. But also be aware, if you get the NAV Prime, you're also gonna get the detailed credit reports on the personal side and the business side so you can see your business credit scores and track your business credit health so you can see exactly where your business is at how you can improve it and you're going to get business credit coaching with nav prime which is kind of crazy there's so many other bells and whistles that come with it you're going to get the bookkeeping because you're going to use the app inside there so you can track all of your money all of your spend and you can use that with a nav prime card now the nav prime card is a charge card so be aware of that which in my personal opinion is great because you don't carry your balance you're paying off your 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 balances every single day and you don't have to worry about the businesses in debt. But I cannot stress enough the importance of the detailed credit reports that are going to track your business credit health because nobody else talks about the importance of this and exactly knowing where you are at. And they're now reporting with Dun & Bradstreet also. So this whole package is tremendous on top of just the business checking account that you're gonna get. Now I'm gonna put the links in the video description for anybody that needs any of these business checking accounts or NAB Prime. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We covered another big one on the best business checking accounts out there that we could find right now. Now, make sure that you watch this next video because it is about a credit union that you may want to learn about. And if you felt that I brought you some value in this video, make sure that you don't forget and subscribe to increase your credit score.